Hi everyone. Have you ever wanted to count the number of something in your business? For example, defects that might come up, customer complaints that might come up and their reasons, or even items of sale or things that you're selling in your business. Well, one of the best ways to do that is with a check sheet and the people who are doing the actual work. This particular check sheet is really, really great as well because as a person is checking off those items, then they actually count them all up and then it gives you a beautiful little chart right at the end so you can see exactly which complaints or which items are selling the most or whatever it is that you're wanting to count, you can see it all in one. We're going to create this sheet today and it's going to be a whole bunch of fun. Let's get into it. The first thing we're going to do is figure out the borders and the coloring and shading of this sheet and we might speed this up ever so slightly as we're going through it. Our heading will just turn white so that we've got that there. We'll merge and center these and color that white so that people understand that they can fill this section in. We do want to have the name of the person who's recording this, uh, this data as well. So we're going to add that. And then we're going to add the date recorded. For all of these, let's put these in the center, in the middle, uh, and these can be over to the left, but with a little bit of an intent as well. And now we've got enough to get started with our check sheet. First of all, let's set up our heading row. And for this one, let's color this just a nice light blue, a nice turquoise for us to match our deep blue that we were working with before. And we'll make the text white. And what we're looking at is the number. So the, the, we'll number these. Let's put them in the center and the middle and make them bold because they are a heading. We'll have our types, uh, items, or events. These are the names of the things that we are counting, whether it's uh, sales or defects or anything in between. Here we want our total, so this will give us the totals for the day. And then it's, we're just simply going to count all the way from one to whatever number we please. And if we drag that, Excel can do all of the work for us. Let's put a thick border around this header and let's use the more borders function so that we can use a normal thin line and put that in between every cell. And if we do that, now you can see it's separated really, really nicely. For our total column, I think we're going to use just a bit of a different color, maybe a nice sandy color. And we can give our total uh, a different color there as well so that that looks really nice. Now let's put a border around the rest of our check sheet area. And you can make this as large or as small as you like. If we put a thick border around this, then what we can do next is select all of it and go back to our more borders function and select the dashed line, put that in between, and now all of those will have a really nice dashed line to work with. We actually want this section to be have a thick border as well and this one to have just a thin border. And then for the rest of our items, we're just going to go back to the more borders and put a normal thin line on a vertical in between those cells. And now we've got a beautiful uh, table for us to start working with. When we start adding the items, now we can put these over to the right and increase the indent just a little bit, put them in the middle as well, carry them down, and then Excel will do the rest of the work for us. For our numbers, let's make them bold and put them in the middle as well. Maybe give them a little bit of a gray so that they don't stand out too much. Now we can start working with the check sheet. For all of our checks, let's put them in the center and the middle. And usually we can put an X, but it can actually be anything we please. And that's going to make it nice and easy for the people doing the sheet. When we've got a couple of X's in here as an example, we can use the total column to total all of these up to do our chart. And the way we do that is we say equals, we say count A, and that counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty. We open our bracket, and what we want is all of these cells, any of these. So uh, if any of those are not empty, then we want it to be counted. And that gives us a four for those four X's in our, in our row there. And now we really know. All we have to do is copy that, select the other cells, and paste the formulas all the way down. Now you can see that we've got some zeros here, so let's just get rid of those using conditional formatting. If we select this column here, go to conditional formatting and manage rules. If we select a new rule, and if we say only cells that contain cell value equal to zero, 
then let's set the font color to be exactly the same as the background color so it just gets hidden there. And if we click apply, now you can see that the zeros are hidden nicely. So it will only appear if we start putting checkboxes against that particular item. Now, of course, we do want a total row as well. So let's select that row, use the thick box border. And for this particular one, we want the total. And the total uh, for this particular column, we're going to say equals the sum of, open our bracket, select all of these uh, items in the column and close the bracket. And that will give us the total that we're after. Let's put those in the center. And for the total, we'll make that a little bit bold, put that over to the right and increase the indent so that it looks quite nice. We'll give that also our same sandy color and we'll just black out or put a little bit of gray uh, on the rest of those items. So on the rest of that row, so that, that uh, we know that not to fill out that as well. And if that's bold, now we've got all of the data we need to create the chart so we can see our check items at a glance. And to do that, that is very, very simple. We select our items and our total columns and we insert a bar chart. So 2D column chart right here. Now the, for the particular title, we can change that to be anything that we like. Let's call this our count of our items. We can also at this stage go to view and get rid of the grid lines just so that it looks really nice what we're working with here. And here is our chart. Now we can make this chart look nicer in a few different ways. First of all, we can make the fill just to match the rest of our sheet. Maybe we will give that a uh, dusty blue, but you can make that anything that you please, of course. But for the columns themselves, if we format that, we just want them to be a little bit thicker. And so if we say the series overlap could be around 100 and the gap width, maybe we want that to be around 50%. And now you can see that changes the width of our items. And you know we can change that up or down as you see fit. A larger width will basically reduce the, the size of the column chart. And if we right click on this and add the data labels as well, that will give us all of the data that we need and we can see. And if we lastly right click and give us a nice dark outline around this particular chart and give that a little bit more weight. Now we have a beautiful chart that we can see at a glance for all of the data that we've just collected within our team for our defects or our sales, or again, anything that you wish to be measuring or checking throughout the day with your people. And there you have it. We've created a beautiful check sheet, automatically calculating all of those items. And I've really enjoyed spending the time with you creating this sheet today. I hope you've enjoyed yourself too. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.